Barry for one that went there and that could have been a more dramatic fashion. Yeah, I know it was uh, a bit end to end. A bit of a scrappy game, probably not the best to watch. But um, I was happy with the clean sheet and long you stick in there, we're all going to have chances, especially when, you, when they're down to 10 men. But we're expected to win the game and I think they had as many chances as, as we did and uh, a bit of luck at the end. Uh, we've got our goal and three points. Fact that the lads are talking about a winning mentality in the dressing room, it seemed they really proved that by getting the goal so late on and keep grinding at it. Yeah, we we set up now we're setting up and we know what the gaffer wanted and when they go down to ten men I think it makes them work a bit harder and I think we're expected to come out on top but sometimes it, it doesn't go that way. As you can see when we went to tram there and we we was one 0 down. I think now that they had a few chances, a few disallowed goals. But then just hanging in there and just believing they're gonna get a bit of luck or or a little chance and to be fair we've got the own goal and you can see the celebration on everyone's faces. I think is a is a a big three points for us, especially away at Dagenham when the last ten men. I think we're, we're never going to probably get this chance again, especially so early in the season. I mean, for you and Sean, it's a, a, a tougher test than maybe what we're used to. Morgan Ferrier and, and Michael Cheek are real uh, veterans of this league, and they know what this league's all about, and plenty of you to have to deal with. Yeah, they're very, very experienced. Uh, scored, scored loads of goals, and they don't give you a, a minute's peace. So. I think the team knows if we, we shut up shop at the back and limit, try and limit the chances and try and try and get try and get in their faces a bit and try and put them off their game, then we're going to have one or two chances. It's just a matter of taking it. I've got to you, man. If you get sick of this, another man of match performance for you <laughs> on uh, from the meeting two this afternoon. How did you think you uh, you got on today? Uh, it, was, it was a tough game, but I think uh, when, when you when you come to Dagenham, you keep a clean sheet. I think be, everyone looks at the defence, but I think from the front. Uh, we defend well as a team. Everyone, everyone gets their individual applaudits. And that clean sheet is almost as impressive as actually going out and getting the win. Is that isn't it? Yeah, it is. But me, me and Sean were saying that we're just concentrating on, on, concentrating on the clean sheets and get, get, try and get to double figures. Uh, we've got our targets and we're, we're overachieving our targets at the minute. But we'll, we'll uh, be happy with uh, the game today and tomorrow, and then we'll prepare for the game on Tuesday. So after a win like this, is it good that you get games thick and fast, filed Tuesday, late in Orient on Saturday, two sides who you think may well be up there at the end of the season? Yeah, it's good, it's good to be in the round, it's good to be playing teams like that. And, um, I think when you, when you look at the results today as well, I think uh, it's, a, it's a good three points that we've got. What when, when we're winning and uh, we're playing well as a team, we want to keep playing games. So Tuesday, Saturday, uh, apart from quick enough for us. Cheers, man.